Hi, it's Rosie, and we are making homemade brownies. If you would like to print out the recipe for these brownies, visit me on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. Okay, so to start off, we're going to pour in some melted butter into our large mixing bowl here. Next, we're going to start adding in our granulated sugar. And once those two ingredients are in that bowl, we're going to grab our handheld mixer and we're going to mix everything until it's nice and well combined. In this bowl, I have four large eggs that are at room temperature. And now I'm going to start adding the eggs into my bowl, but I'm going to add them one at a time to make sure everything is nice and well incorporated throughout that bowl. Now we're going to start adding in some unsweetened cocoa powder. Grab your handheld mixer, and my handheld mixer is set on a low speed. We're just going to mix it until it's throughout that bowl, and now we're going to gradually start adding in our all-purpose flour. So again, gradually add the all-purpose flour. Don't add it in all at once. And I almost forgot to add my salt, so I'm going to add it in at this time. Don't forget, if you want the exact measurements for these brownies, you can print them out from my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. Definitely come check me out on my blog. I'm always posting there as well. Scrape down the edges of your bowl, and now we're going to add in our vanilla extract. So that's the last ingredient. We're going to mix it until everything is throughout, and now we're ready to transfer the batter into our bake dish. I'm using an 8x8. Eight eight. I sprayed the bake dish uh, with some baking spray. As you see, I also have parchment paper. You don't have to use both. You can use either or. I'm going to smooth the batter out until it's nice and leveled. And now I am ready to place my batter into the oven. I'm going to bake these brownies in the oven on 350 Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Make sure you check your brownies periodically because your oven may run a little hotter or cooler than mine. Once my brownies were done, I removed them from my bake dish and I placed them on a cooling rack until they reached room temperature and then I was ready to serve. These brownies are so good. They're so moist, fudgy like. They're just uh to die for. Definitely give this recipe a try and tell me what you think. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And visit me every Sunday and Wednesday for new video uploads.